Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today, we are going to be marking our 20th entry into the encyclopedia by stepping back into the realm of dog zoans in order to examine the Inu Inu no Mi model jackal. The Inu Inu no Mi model jackal is a zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a deadly jackal as well as a human jackal hybrid. It was eaten by Chaka and first showcased during the Alabaster arc. Now here we have our very first similarly named devil fruit in the encyclopedia. You may remember that a few videos ago we covered another Inu Inu no Mi, the model Dachshund. So the model jackal also obviously takes its name straight from the Japanese word for dog. However, just as with the previous fruit, we have a bit of butchering from 4Kids, who translated it once again as the Mutt Mutt Fruit Jackal Strike. And I just, what? This is one of those situations where I don't think it's possible to derive sense from one of their decisions. I mean, maybe it was because 4Kids didn't want to use the word model because they thought it sounded clunky, but Jackal Strike? I mean, what? what? What even is that? Who showed a slightly more reasonable approach though by going with the Mutt Mutt Fruit Jackal Model? Sadly, keeping the mutt part, but at least not getting all weird about it. As per usual though, we have to turn to the most recent translation to hit the scene in Funimation, who decided to go with the pragmatic Dog Dog Fruit Model Jackal. And why that was ever so difficult to implement in the first place, I will never understand. But launching into the fruit itself, there are four subspecies of jackal in the world, none of which resemble the creature that old mate Chaka appears to be able to transform into. Quite notably, the user of the Inu Inu no Mi model jackal appears to be able to become a jackal as depicted in Egyptian mythology, such as the god Anubis, who is shown to have anything from just the head of a jackal to a full on jackal body. And in statue form, Anubis often appears in jet black, symbolizing regeneration, the soil of the Nile River and the uh, discoloration of a corpse after embalming. You get the idea though, jet black is not a natural jackal color. However, that's what the user of this fruit becomes, which opens up the speculation that it may be a mythical zoan type, but other than aesthetic evidence, there is really nothing to suggest that in the series. It's much more likely that Oda just did this to fit in with the general Egyptian theme of alabaster. In reality, jackals resemble more of a fox-like creature, reaching up to 40 centimeters tall and weighing anywhere from five to 12 kilograms. So they're generally quite small and nimble, not known for being particularly powerful, but they are indeed hunters and so come equipped with a fair chunk of instinct, as well as incredibly deadly teeths. But due to their size, they're not overtly threatening to most other predators, but the user of this fruit will essentially gain the ability to become a super-sized jackal, which all of a sudden becomes very threatening indeed, especially since a jackal would be considered a carnivorous zoan, making this fruit well-suited for those who lean towards the art of combat, bestowing the user with that bit of extra physical and instinctual oomph during battle. However, there are other potential benefits of adopting the ways of the jackal. For example, certain species thrive in dry, arid conditions, such as deserts or grass planes, making the survivability in such conditions an enviable quality for us human folk. Furthermore, there are also species of jackal that choose to dine on poisonous snakes, implying that the user of the Inu Inu no Mi model jackal may develop an inherent immunity to certain types of poison. But if we take the time to examine Chaka's specific use of the fruit, we do find it mainly skewed to combative purposes. Chaka wields his jackal abilities primarily in combination with his sword skills, greatly elevating his speed and power and allowing him to access a higher realm of combat, a very important feature given that he is one of the two head guards of the Alabaster Kingdom. Sadly, we only ever saw one jackal technique from Chaka, which was named Narikiba, literally meaning Howling Fang. And even sadder, we didn't even get to see the attack land properly because it was directed at the sandy vessel that is Sir Crocodile, who proceeded to completely destroy the Jackal Man. And so we'll need to turn to the World of Awakening to try and find some more redeeming qualities of the Inu Inu no Mi model jackal. And to be completely honest, the prospect of a giant relentless jackal terrifies me to no end, but there is a possibility with this fruit beyond the standard Zoan Awakening. I said before that the form of the jackal taken strongly resembles that of the Egyptian god Anubis. So hey, why not throw out the possibility of awakening this fruit to access some sort of mythical deity power? And before you all go Grand Line Review, please be realistic. Let me just remind you all that nobody ever thought that we'd have a giant Buddha Zoan before Marinevid, so I don't see it as entirely out of the realm of possibility. Very, very slim, but hey, it's certainly there, and that may come with some crazy abilities pertaining to the afterlife in the form of resurrection or soul manipulation, both of which have once again already happened in the series. But to digress, I feel it's more than likely that the user will just end up becoming a giant doggy. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a jackal human. Despite many of the pictures I've used in this video, jackals are usually nocturnal mammals. So if you're a morning person, then the consumption of this fruit may greatly interfere with your natural schedule. Jackals are traditionally thought of as cunning creatures and classic pranksters of the animal world. So the incorporation of this fruit into oneself may indeed see a slight rise of natural intelligence and or a mischievous nature. Also just be aware that the greatest aspect of success to the survival of the jackal is that they are simply not picky 
eaters. They will legit eat just about anything that comes their way. So if you're one of those weird people who dislikes coriander, or one of those completely reasonable people who hate mushrooms, then the Inu Inu no Mi model jackal may be able to broaden your palate somewhat. But really what we have here is a distinct improvement on the Inu Inu no Mi model dachshund. This particular fruit turns the user into a slightly more useful doggo, greatly bolstering physical capabilities, and coming with a slew of handy bonus features, with the teeny tiny piece of potential to become an Egyptian deity. Would I be complaining if I'd eaten this fruit? Eh, probably not, but it's not the highest of fruits on my wish list. Still, if you enjoy dogs and deserts, then I can't think of a better fruit for you to consume. And with that, we are going to commit the Inu Inu no Mi model jackal to the devil fruit encyclopedia. Next week, we'll be getting all claustrophobic in here as we highlight a particular paramecia by the name of the Ori Ori no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Inu Inu no Mi model jackal. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.